Well, this was quite a sight. The action cam rolling today is an ATF special response team from Virginia arrived in East Nantmill Township. They brought with them two canines, dozens of agents and a Bearcat armored vehicle. Action News' Walter Perez was right there when that happened. He's live this afternoon with more on the ongoing search efforts today. Walter. That's right, Brian. Authorities say there is no longer a perimeter as the manhunt zone expands well beyond the original focus in and around Longwood Gardens. Suffice it to say, the people who live in this bucolic section of our region are pretty stressed out. To say that this section of Chester County is rural would be an understatement. There's 16 square miles in this township, half of it's preserved, so it's just century old woodline farmland that hasn't been touched. So it's definitely frightening. Action News was there earlier today when the most recent addition arrived to take part in the manhunt. These men are members of an ATF special response team from Virginia. They arrived and staged at the Nat Meal United Methodist Church with a Bearcat armored vehicle, two canine units, and approximately two dozen agents. They join hundreds of other investigators searching this part of Chester County because this is near where escape killer Danello Cavalcante dumped a van this past weekend, which he had recently stolen. As of this evening, authorities have only said they believe Cavalcante is still in Pennsylvania. The focus on East Nat Meal comes with the hope of finding helpful clues at worst and recapturing this fugitive at best. People who live around here say East Nat Meal has always been the kind of place where people leave their doors unlocked until now. I've talked to multiple people yesterday that were scrambling to get home to lock their doors because we didn't expect it to get this close. And so authorities are encouraging people around here to lock their doors, remain vigilant, and report anything they might seem as might see as suspicious. Once again, the new reward, $25,000 for anything that leads to the recapture of this convicted killer. Reporting live from East Nantmeal, Walter Perez, Channel 6 Action News. Sarah?